The role of the liturgist in worship is one of the most important roles that someone can play in the church. Being part of the worship team uh, means that you come up the aisle with uh, the minister, uh, that you share in passing of the peace and the announcements, and then you go to this wonderful chair and you actually lead all the liturgy and worship. So I'm going to show you um, that it doesn't have to be as terrifying as it might seem. So come along and watch as I describe exactly what the liturgist is going to do. Come along. So we begin by walking up the aisle and greeting the people in the pews. That's easy enough. Uh, then Tian Tian plays the prelude. Then the liturgist will stand up for the call to worship, uh, reading what is uh, printed in the bulletin, uh, ending with, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Then the congregation stands and sings. Then the liturgist leads the confession of sin, and the people respond to that. Um, leads the declaration of pardon right here, and the people respond. And then the liturgist sits down, and the liturgist remains seated through the word section, and then stands up after the special music to lead the Apostles' Creed, then invites people to present their gifts in the offering, leads the prayer of thanksgiving, and then sits again while the minister leads the pastoral prayer. That's pretty much it for the liturgist, except following the benediction during the postlude to greet the people coming out the west door. It's a wonderful opportunity to see a different dynamic in worship, to experience worship in a different way, and to uh, be part of this worship team. So if you're interested in being a liturgist, come this Sunday and watch Will Rowan do it uh, in an in a excellent manner. See you Sunday.